hey guys so android pi is now official and after total of five developer previews the stable version is finally here and is rolling out for pixel and essential smartphones right now I updated my Pixel 2 XL and I came directly from the last GP5 so the update was of 47 MB for me. I don't know it can be over 1 GB for those who are coming from 8.1 Oreo. So you can update it right now if you are using the Pixel or Essential phone or any Treble supported devices. The Treble GSI is also available for all the devices right now. Alright, so in this video we are going to talk about all the changes and new features Google has added to Android Pie. And we are not going to talk about the previous changes of beta versions. You can check my earlier videos for the same. This video is more about changes in stable version as compared to the last preview fifth. Alright, so first off, let's talk about the visual changes and performance difference. The animations are literally smooth, guys. This thing is speedy. It is faster than fifth preview. I think Google has eliminated all the unnecessary animations to make it more faster. And to be precise with you all, I have been using the Pixel 2 XL from past 4-5 months and I haven't seen any abnormal lags or performance difference. Android Pie is way faster than Oreo, for sure. So basically there are two major features and that was showcased at Google I.O. First one is digital well-being. You need to enroll in the beta program in order to get it officially or you can also install it manually by downloading the APK file. So this basically tracks your application usage and I was using quality time for the same task before. Now maybe I will switch to well-being. The reason why I think well-being is better because it tracks your habits and digital health. It will enable you to know when and how to switch things off for a better work-life balance. For example, you can set a timer for daily usage of YouTube or Facebook or WhatsApp like I want to use the YouTube application for only one hour a day and then I will take rest for my eyes. Also it will notify you when is your time for sleep. It also shows how many times you unlocked your smartphone and how many notifications you received. Also you can tap on any application graph to get its detail and to set a timer and you can also tap on center for all the application usage. Basically this is the dashboard. Next major feature is related and is a part of well beings only. It is called the wind down mode and I am really liking this feature guys. It turns your smartphone to grayscale means black and white yeah, just like Samsung's years old ultra power saving mode which was introduced back with Samsung Galaxy S5. However this thing is not for saving your battery. It is going to make you encouraged to disconnect your smartphone at night. Basically it will make your eyes feel it's sleeping time. And you can also choose between start and end timer so that is something nice. Now let's talk about the hidden features that Google has added to this latest and the greatest Android Pie. If a heavyweight application, for example a huge game like PUBG is eating too much memory, Android Pie is gonna warn you the pop-up box whether you want to close the background application to make the game lag free or close the game you are running right now. So basically new RAM management technique, basically you need to choose between the two whether you want to close the background application or the application you are running right now. Another hidden feature is that Google with Android Pie has finally added Bluetooth volume memory that is going to remember the headset volumes. And it is one of the most awaited feature guys. So your device will now learn and save different volume for different devices like I usually keep volume low for headphones and little high for my car that is going to remember that. And at last Google is working to add entire rollback protection for future devices launching along with Android Pie. Xiaomi has already added this feature in the latest MIUI 9.5 and 10 so you won't be able to downgrade. According to Google the device launching with Android Pie in future must support verified boot. So yeah the Android Pie officially here and this is everything I noticed new as compared to the DP5. Let's wait for the Google Pixel 3 launch and just like every year I am really expecting Android 9.1 with new features and easter egg. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and peace out.